Hello students, I am Esther Suresh. I will be handling computers for you. I hope you all are doing well in this unpredicted holidays. Stay safe, eat healthy food, wear masks and wash your hands as often as possible and keep yourself healthy. Let us come to our topic. Today the first lesson is computer a machine. So in your previous session, you all of them have learned about what is a computer. Computer is an electronic device. So you all know that the computer is something special and it is something extraordinary when we compare it with the human beings. So let us, here I have written few points which makes computers uh, which is very special and than the human beings. The first point is storage. The storage is nothing but memory. As a human being, we tend to forget many things, whatever we have learned or whatever we have seen. But as a computer, it will store the information, whatever is given into it, and it will be there whenever you want, you can access those information. So it is very good in memory. The storage part is very good in computers. Let us come to the time. The time means the man needs more time to do any work. For example, as a student, you people may take a lot of time to write even a page of homework or a page of classwork. But when it comes to a computer, it takes very less time to type whatever the information you wanted to type. So the time consumption is very less than compared to the human beings. Next is the new word you are going to learn is accuracy. What do you mean by accuracy? Accuracy is nothing but perfection. As a human being, we may tend to make mistakes while writing. As a student, you people we may make mistakes while writing the spellings or something. But as when you compare it with the computers, it will not make any mistakes. So we use the word as accuracy. So remember the word accuracy is nothing but perfection. Then next is work process. Man needs rest. As a human being, we need rest. We cannot work for continuous hours. We need rest. After working for 10 or 15 minutes, we take rest. But the computer will work 24 bar into 7. Even if you are giving the more and more work, it will keep working. It will not waste your time. So the work process means the computer never requires a rest. The next is decision. The decision making is, as a human being, we can make decisions, but computer take, cannot take any decision on its own. You need to give the information to it, accordingly it will process. But whereas, as a human being, we can make our own decisions, when to write, when to see, when to go ahead. But whenever you switch on the computer, when you give the information to it, it will process. So it cannot take the decisions on its own. The next comes is order. Man does not need any orders to do any work. So you may, maybe as a human being, we don't need any orders from any machine, to, from anybody for of course. Whatever we have, we know our responsibilities, we work uh, whatever we need to do. So we don't need any orders from anyone. But the computer needs the order. Like we need to give the input to it. Order in the sense you can think it as an input. Whatever the input is given, the same thing will be processed and the same you will be getting the output according to your input. So as a human being, we don't need orders, but the computer needs order. The last point is feelings. As a human being, we have feelings. When somebody hurts you, you may feel that pain. But the computers, it will not have any feelings and it does not have any feeling at all. So once again, I'll repeat the main, the, these are the points we compare with the human beings and a machine. The first is storage, I said, it is a good memory. The computer has a good memory. Time consumption, computer takes very less time compared to the human beings. Accuracy is perfection. Like uh, as a human being, we tend to make mistakes, but the computers will never make mistakes. Work process, the computer will never be tired. It will not get tired. It will work 24 bar into 7. So as a human being, 
we cannot work for 24 bar into 7 we need some rest so as the, this is called work process next is decision making as a human being we can make the decision but the computers it cannot make its own decision order order also computer does not require as a, i'm sorry the uh, computer needs order but as a human being we don't need any orders feelings human beings we have a feelings but the computers will not have the feelings my next point is uses of computer where do we use the computer here i'll be just giving you four points where do we use the computers first one is at home second one is school third one is at office fourth one is in shops there are many there are many areas where we use our computers but in briefly i'll be telling you only these four places where do we use computers and how do we use computers later on in my next session i'll be continuing about the uses of computers first one is at home why do we use at home as a small students as a students you people use the computers at home for playing games listening to music watching movies and helping in doing the homework so these are the points these are the things you use computers at home in schools in schools also we use computers to use the library to keep a record of the books and keeping the details of the students and the teachers making a timetable and preparing the results these are the points where we use computers in schools the next one is at office in the office we use computers for typing and printing letters storing a lot of information re related to that particular office or particular firm whatever you call it as and sending emails and etc in shops keeping the details of the items particularly if you go to a fancy showroom there they will have a keeper record of the stock whatever they have in their store and uh, if you go to the other storeroom they will have accordingly whatever the store belongs to next is printing the bills these are the these are the four points i have told you that is at home why do we use computers in schools offices and in shops there are many more things many more places where do we use computers but these things will be talked to you in my next session for today please practice what is a computer and also you just practice the comparison between the computer as well as the human beings and i have taught you four places where do we use the computers these these places you have to practice and remember i will be continuing my session in my next session thank you children